Obviously, we cannot avoid being human beings. <laughs> we have so many <laughs> things coming up, you know, and um, we, we just share them openly here. And, and we see that everything is coming up for us in life. You know, all kinds of data stands. But here we have the space really to, to clarify and to rely on the power of open intelligence to, to bring benefit to all. So this is the first priority, and that's what I see in my life. The first priority, what will be of most benefit to all. That clarified everything for me, and still do. You know, still do. That. This is the focus, this is the focus. What will serve everyone best? You know, in my work, in my family, in my intimate relationship, myself. Even in myself, I have a community <laughs> of data streams. But you see there, even the focus is what will serve best, what will be of most benefit to all. A very elegant way of living life. You know, that's like very um, also natural to us. Our greatest power is to be of benefit. This is our greatest power. This is the only power we have. If we rely on open intelligence, then it's easy for us to recognize that. If we rely on, the, on, on our data streams, then it's not easy for us to recognize that. Then we are lost. We're just focusing on one datum at a time. We are not stepping into our own power. We are not exalting ourselves. We are not allowing everything to be as it is. We are avoiding life. We're ignoring our own power to be of benefit, basically. Just ignoring our power to be of benefit. Because we see, if we look around, if we read an, at the newspapers or you know, watch TV or on the news, we see there are many, um, there are many things going on now. Every day, every moment, right now, many people are suffering. And, and it's, uh, it's, I mean, we can feel it totally, that we don't want that anymore. We don't want to live like that anymore. We want to make a change. That's why we're here. You know, we want to make a change, first of all, in ourselves. First of all, in ourselves, because we see the dynamic of war within ourselves. Then we see, okay, how, how, can I, how can I make a change? How can I contribute to that? And that's why um, we have reality. And open intelligence will support that reality to be obvious. And also to, um, to get clear. We're getting clear with our data streams. When we invite it to ask questions, you know, we, we share our own direct experience. And there we, we face reality as it is. We are not sharing something else, not in our own direct experience. So that's how it's so uh, touching and instinctive for us to recognize reality, open intelligence. Then we recognize, okay, I'm not, basically I'm not only one experiencing, experiencing the same thing. I can recognize it in myself. The only devotion I see in my life, it's the devotion to be of benefit to all. Now that includes everything. You know, when I came to this training, I was invited to just not to change anything, any of my ideas or belief systems, assumptions about life, just to allow everything to be as it is. I didn't need to change my, uh, I wanted to say my gender, <laughs> my gender. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's funny now. And I didn't need to change anything, I was just invited to test it in my own experience and rely on open intelligence and clarify data stream being supported by the four mainstays, and basically thrive, thrive, thrive in life, empower myself. That was so inviting for me, a warm invitation <laughs> to really be empowered and thrive. Now, in my own family life, and I mean my own family, when my parents, we are five in my family, I, I learned to be of benefit. I learned to be of benefit, and I learned also many other things. But um, being of benefit for me was very limited to m my own sisters and, and brother and also my mom, my father, and maybe a few friends. And when I was introduced to, to Balance Few Training and Open Intelligence, then pff, benefit of all. You know, I can be of benefit to all. That was too much for me at the beginning. You know, just even to think about, wow, benefit to all, that's too much. I, I can just compromise with my own life, just being of benefit here and there. But then being invited to really exalt, you know, to, to really empower myself in all of my data streams, 
not just some, not just like 20%, the positive ones. Everything, all of areas of my life, to exalt them completely. Not halfway, all the way, all the way, to take it all the way. It was really important for me to hear a direct instruction to take it all the way with the support of the Four Mainstays, not to, not to shy away from my power, basically. And, and to bring everything, to, to invite everything to come up, all the doubts, the criticism, all the things that I don't like about myself, to invite them all and to clarify them with the light of open intelligence that outshines everything, all data streams. And I still see that in my own experience. Everything is increasingly beneficial. It's, it's just uh, our mind is of great benefit. We cannot avoid being of benefit. This is our, our sole passion, to be of benefit to all. Instinctively, we know what we are avoiding and what we are facing completely. We just, like, we just feel it's, we are on the right path. You know, we feel like we are aligned. When we are supported with the four mainstays, there is nothing can get, get wrong, basically, because we, we, we see, we learn to see everything about ourselves. We share openly with our trainer, and we share openly in the training with a group of people, and we, we're reading the, the, this text that really you know, evoke open intelligence. Like when we have a tribe, the booklet, <laughs> and then we read it, it's really about thriving. It's not something else. And we can implement that in our everyday life. Right here, or oh, we have open intelligence now, this is also one booklet. Then we can implement that right away when we read those words. And that's what I felt. Also the text, do not pick an antidote. And if you feel like, wow, it's exactly for you. <laughs> Actually, I have some antidotes that I have been avoiding. But, but you see, we, we, if we look at our own experience, if I look at my own experience, I use so many things that can be called antidotes. But resting deeply in the power of great benefit, I just know naturally how to act, you know, what to do, what not to do, and how to be of benefit, basically. And also to be very direct with myself. Maybe now it's time to stop using this antidote and to really just uh, allow the data flow on by and seeing that I'm fine, I'm basically fine, I'm okay, I'm powerful, you know, I'm stable enough to, to continue on and to open up more doors, more doors with my exaltation power. And, and, and this is how also we understand other people and connect, we really connect. Because we, we just see that we we can, we just free to, to feel and do everything we want to do. Everything we want to do. We free to think everything, to feel everything, but we, we navigate there. You know, we navigate for the benefit of all. We feel all kinds of things, but we choose. We learn to choose what will serve the best everyone. That this is self-leadership, but also in your business, you can see how can you empower everyone to, to have this direction of the benefit of all. It's easy, by your example, being grounded completely in the Four Mainstays, then you become the Four Mainstays. You become your, the Four Mainstays, you are the Four Mainstays. Then everyone trusts you, why? Because this is of most benefit. They just know, they just know, even if you're very clear, very fierce, very direct, and you're not smiling, you know, it can be very, just, it's just clear for everyone that you serve the benefit of all and they can pass that. And that's what I feel with my family also when I go back home. I'm just so clear with my commitment. You know, I, I, I chose to do other things in my life. I'm far away from my family. I'm, I'm just traveling all around the world to be with community because this is my first priority to be of benefit. I, I love to share this training. So just uh, imagine all the expectations my family have about myself, being married, having children, live in Israel, and I'm not doing that. And they're still waiting for me there. <laughs> they're still waiting, they're, never, they're not giving up. But you see, and, and it was at the beginning, it was really about gaining confidence in this and communicating, not vaguely, if you can say, about my commitment and my responsibility in life. And now it's just clear, you know, I'm just, I love you so much, but I'm going now. 
I'm living and, and I'm always available for you. Always available for you. That's how you also, when you are with people, you just clear with your commitment as well. But again, first to support yourself, to ground yourself fully in the four mainstays. You know, you know if you're 100% committed or not. And once you're there, everything is outshone completely, increasingly, inexhaustibly. This is your nature. This is our nature. This is the nature of our mind. Endless, limitless, and powerful, and potent. It, open intelligence it just burns all data. Look at the fire. This is a good metaphor there. <laughs> it burns all data signs. So that's what I did. This is what I can share with you. 100% commitment. That's what I did. And I feel so grateful to just to, to have no confusion whatsoever. No confusion about life. Now, even if there is confusion, there is no confusion. You know, it, and you know that instinctively. You just know when you have affliction, there is four mainstays. Four mainstays. And it opens up this affliction to the benefit of all. You just suddenly feel, oh, it's actually not my affliction. It's the affliction of everyone. Everyone, I can, I can just rest deeply there. I can just be stable and support myself and other people that experience the same things. You see, this is how you get to know yourself, but also everyone else. This is the only way to support everyone else. Your direct experience will exalt everyone around you. That's how powerful we are.